Welcome to another segment on the bench with Brent Schlinker. Today's fly is a special pattern created out of breathable materials. The ostrich hurl damsel is highly effective as an attractor or imitative pattern. We will be tying on a 2x long continuous curve hook size 8 and using an 8 odd olive dunt thread. Small olive mono eyes. Tail and body is three barbules of olive ostrich hurl. The rib is iridescent blue perdigon body. The thorax is olive pheasant after shaft feather. A wing case of 1 8 inch olive scud back. The throat is creepy crawly ice dub and dark olive UV. Let's get to the bench with Brent. Well, welcome to another segment on the bench here, folks. I'm glad you tuned in, you lake anglers. We got a great little uh, damsel pattern for you here today. It's, uh, it's a buggy little rascal on the vice. Very deceiving. Here, here's the same fly and been wet. It's a really slender, bounce a lot of light off that throat and the rib. So let's get a hook in the vise. Tie one up. I like these natural materials whenever I can use them. We're going to get our thread on the entire shank here again as we always do. Dress the shank first. And I'll need to come in here with some eyes. Should have had my bag open there, excuse me, for taking all your valuable time. <laughs> I hope you're not doing nothing but getting ready to tie some good flies. Tie that on behind the eye. Let's get some exit on. Come to the back here. Point of the barb. Then we'll just take three marabou plumes or ostrich plumes. Very webby, soft. Well, this is good material. I like using this for many, many flies. Natural. Oh, we want to get those tips lined up. Damsels do have three tails. Not that the fish are going to come up and count them, but there we go. I got it all. I'm organized. Got it organized. Just going to tie that right in at the rear here. A short little tail. Tie them back. Some of these materials you don't want to pull on them too hard. They're tight, fragile. Uh, I'm going to come in with a Pritigan rib in blue, iridescent blue. A good idea to throw a little blue in your ostrich or your, your uh, damsel patterns makes it way more effective. Now screw my body forward. Cool, body. <coughs> nice ostrich hurl. Just you can see where you got a lot of purposes for that in that light time game, eh? Just gonna throw a half hitch on that, and I'll uh, do my rib. I'm gonna bring that in pretty tight. I want that to be a pretty major part of my pattern. This is almost more of an attractor than a kind of a slash tractor imitator. I don't know, call it whatever you want, whatever category you want to put it in, but I know it catches fish. Cut a little bit of our sow scud back. Tie that in behind the eyes here. And I'll come right to the eye, behind the eye of the hook. Oh, not one of my tying lights. When you fill them, you got all kinds of gimmicks and gadgets. You got a lot of lighting and stuff around here. I'm trying to get my Video is a little better for you guys. I know some guys do some really, really good work out there, and I got a I'm kind of a little bit technically challenged sometimes, but I'll do my best. I'm trying to make improvements as we go. Okay, now we're just going to come in here. These are after shaft feathers in the bottom of the uh, pheasant rump. You'll you'll be using a lot of these rump feathers for all kinds of purposes. Lots of flies tied with those, but Keep those uh, after shaft feathers. After shaft feathers. They're very 
fragile, but boy, they're nice and soft. They breathe really good. So I'm going to come here. These are going to make my legs. I'm going to then I'll run my thread up behind the eye. Probably best off just to kind of got to almost got to be really really gentle with this stuff. It's really fragile, but boy, does that move! I like it a lot. Okay, get another turn in there behind the eye. Eyes of the uh, damsel, so you don't get confused. That makes the uh, legs. I'm just going to bring my thread over the, behind the eyes of the pattern. I fold this in half, and then you get the little V when you trim it. Works pretty good. And then I got to add the secret sauce. Trim that little bit out. Yeah, that's looking really good. Now we gotta bring in this stuff here. The Creepy Crawler Ice Dub. This is in dark all over. It looks like it's blue, but it's not when you get it wet. I was in Kelly Latch's store a while back. Cranbrook, he told me, if you ever try, you gotta try this stuff. He said, put a little out in any pattern you can. He said, it is just magic. And he was right. When I get good advice like that, you take it. So nice we can share and I'll tell you those guys those guides up and down the road they know their local waters they know materials they know how to tie they know it wealth of information make sure you stop in and say hello to them make sure you stop and do some business with them that's really important so there we go put a little head spin on that little guy right there and uh damsels are out there's one I'd suggest packing along with you for sure it definitely deserves a spot in your fly box looks really big and bushy right here until you get it wet but really fish is good so I'd like to thank you again for tuning in we'll catch you again real quick soon we appreciate you visiting us today and thank Brent for bringing us this video check out all the videos from our pro team on sports fishing on the fly website or YouTube channel Take care and conserve the waters.